ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to West Lawn Wilson High School and John Gersky Stadium. Tonight we have football, the Wilson Bulldogs, and the Central Boston East High School Panthers. Before we start, we'd like to remind you that restrooms are located in the Dan Building at the end of the home waiters office. The scoreboard concessions are on the home side between the scoreboard and the waiters. Smoking is prohibited anywhere, anytime on Wilson School District property, not by state law. No standing is permitted at the front bleacher fence at the time. time that blocks the view for several rows of spectators. We also have to not stand on the accessibility ramp to the end of the stands. They must remain open for passage by everyone. And of course, sitting in aisles prohibited as well. We hope everybody, if you would remove your trash and recyclables to the receptacles at ground level, help us keep Thirsty Stadium as clean as possible. You know, AA District 3 regulations prohibit the use of noisemakers, lasers, and handheld signs at all events. Shirts must be kept on, and body paint is prohibited. Spectators are not permitted to be inside the track fence at any time before, during, or after the game. The only people inside the fence should be players, coaches, and officials, as well as those with press credentials, school credentials, or a sideline pass issued by the game manager. If you do not have such a credential, please remain outside the fence. Finally, we ask that everyone abide by the rules of good sportsmanship, cheer for your team, not against the other, please allow the players to play, and let the officials officiate.
Brett, can you hear me? Yo. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Can you hear me? Yeah, what do you need me to do? Centralize it!
Let's introduce the officials for tonight's contest. The referee is Steve Risk. The umpire is Matt Schenk. The headlinesman is Rick Hess. When Lyndon Muth is the line judge and Tim Watson is the back judge. Coming onto the field are Wilson Jr. ROTC color guard tonight, Cadet Major Jacob Healy, Cadet Sergeant First Class Bailey Place, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Becca Schweitzer, and Cadet Staff Sergeant Andrew Huntington. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to rise for the performance of our national anthem sung tonight by Wilson Sr., Brianna Metzger.
back team for the Panthers to receive the opening kickoff. Joe Lavelle, Nick Hart to tee it up for the Bulldogs. Picks it up at the two. He is brought down by the Bulldogs, Joseph Grimm. So the Panthers will start deep in their own territory. Ball spotted on the four yard line, first and ten for the Panthers. We welcome all of you from Central Dauphin East who made the trip from the Harrisburg area. We hope you enjoy your stay here in West Lawn.
And our owl on the return into Panther territory, finally brought down by Deshaun Pollard. Bulldogs starting in Panther territory. At the 35. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to get the line. Shane Densmore on the carry. Deshaun Pollard on the tackle for the Panthers. In at one, second and nine. He passes the pass calls incomplete. That will bring up third and nine for Wilson. Pony on red. and long for the Bulldogs. Jake Templin's pass is complete to Shane Dansler. First contact made by the Panthers to Sean Pollard. Accepted by Joe Lamel. And the Panthers will take over on their own. 17, first and 10. Hunter Howell 
Heeft de stap voor de loss. Gain of seven, third down and seven from the 20.
sure. Encroachment on the way. Five yard penalty. Shane Danstall on the carry. Tackle made by Darian Livingston. Danstall's run good for a Bulldog first down. Just inside the 15. Shane Danster again. Tackle made by Wendell Banks. I do miss the ball still. Pass by Jake Templin is caught by Connor Howell. Howell inside the five.
return, but a fumble. Fumble recovered by the Bulldogs, Dustin Miller. A fumble forced by Tim Whitmore. Bulldogs take over at midfield, first and ten.
Backs up the Panthers to the 26 yard line.
punt is down at the 17-yard line. The Bulldogs take over the first and 10. yard line which will bring up a fourth down. Brings up a fourth and nine from the Bulldogs 33 yard line. Powell coming out the punt. Jake Klein back the punt. Up. Will be returned. There's a flag on the play. Turner's still running. From now on, the turn bumped out of bounds. Bumped out by 
Alex Clifford and his number in Campbell. Penalty will be on the Panthers on the return. And the Panthers are first and ten.
to score on the play, second and 14. Time for the snap, looking to pass, Darius with the Kinnear, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. It's going to bring up third and 14. Pass intended for John Fox, incomplete. It's going to be caught by Jake Gaiman. Gaiman gets stopped just short of the first. Bring up a fourth and one on the 41 yard line. Thirty-seven yard line, giving the Bulldogs another first down and ten. Deep. It's caught by Jake Fox. Jake Fox is in the end zone. It's going to make it 16 to nothing. Bulldogs over the Panthers with five minutes and six seconds left to go in the half. Up. 
will be caught about the six yard line, will be returned. And will be brought down at about the 20 yard line. Bring up a Panthers first down. down the middle, and it's going to be an incomplete pass, making it second and ten. Six-yard line. Flag on the flag. Good 
First and first and five for the Blue Dogs. Third and one yard line. Temple with the snap, crosses it back to Danzer. Danzer runs out to the right. Gonna lose a couple of yards in that. Down by Catholic leads high 14 0. bring First down. It's a flag on the play again. Face mask penalty on the Panthers. A little closer to the end zone.
seven and ten or Jacob's pass is complete to Joe Lavelle. John Fox makes the tackle for the Bulldogs. First down for the Panthers.
Jacobs is intercepted by Connor Howell. That play will end the first half with the Bulldogs leading at 17 to zero. Central Dolphin East, Panther Van coming up.
today. I would like to thank the Central Government School District Administration and the East High Band Boosters for their continuing support of music and the fine arts in East High. Exeter 31, yep. Unionville 21 at the half. Friday night, Bulldogs travel over to Central Dauphin, take on the Rams in a non-league contest back here in two weeks to open the LL1 schedule versus Lancaster McCaskey. Some scores, Exeter leading Unionville at the half, 31-21, Berks Catholic over Steele High, 24-7, also at the half, Reading 12, Harrisburg 6, Fleetwood leads Donegal, 34-14, Anvil Cleona, 21 zip over Hamburg. Conrad Weiser, 50 to six over Twin Valley. Governor Mifflin continues to lead Lancaster Catholic, 31-7. Peckway Valley leading Kutztown by a score of 18 to seven.
Some other scores, Lower Dauphin leading Cedar Crest 21-0, Mannheim Central over Hempfield 14-7, Mannheim Township over Red Lion 28-0, Garden Spot leading Warwick 14-7, York leading McCaskey 13-7, It then Commonwealth scores. McDivitt leading State College 20 to 7. Central York leading Cumberland Valley 10 to 7. Central Dauphin leading Susquehanna Township 28 to 24. Mifflin, uh, Mifflin County, excuse me, continuing to lead Williamsport 7 to 0. Bulldogs lining up to receive the second half kickoff. Number three, Connor Howell. Number six, Shane Dansler. Take it up for the Panthers, Sean Orlando. Okay, I'm going to start off the second half. Let's see who is leading 17. I'm going to go to the central ball for the next. Shane Dantzler on the return for the Bulldogs, finally brought down by Wendell Banks. Bulldogs starting from their own 38. Second and four for the Bulldogs on the 44 yard line. Templin with the snap, gives it to Dancer again. Dancer up the middle. Stack behind the line. Carrying Livingston has him around the ankles. I'll take back the house key. It might be a car key. The one key has a battery. Snap attempting to the pass. Passes it to his right. It's going to be Charlie by Austin Rosa. Bulldogs looking for a point. yard line and the return will be brought down 
22 yard line. Bring up the first and 10 for the Panthers. Block an event penalty on the Panthers. Second and ten for the Panthers. throw again. It's going to be thrown. It's going to be knocked down at the line, which bring up fourth and ten for Panthers. Down the ball about the 47 yard line. First and 10 Bulldogs. Dancer goes up the middle. Dancer slow to get up. Fifty-fifty winner. 
<laughs> Guess we don't have to put that number up. We'll have the drawing for the sunglasses very shortly. Second and five on the 42-yard line. <laughs> Tempo and snap, looking pass, pass it to his left. Bulldogs will get a first down on this play. Bring up first and ten. Central Dolphins 34 yards. Second and seven for the Bulldogs. Tempting the snap, looking to pass. He's in trouble and he's going to be brought down behind the line. Third, 15 for the Bulldogs on the Panthers, 39 yards line. Tempo with the snap, passes down the field. It's going to be tipped and intercepted. Interception is from Tyshawn Pollard. There's another bulldog now down on the field.
coming up to the first and ten from their own 30-yard line. Jacobs ready for the snap. Jacobs snaps it, hands it off, runs to the left. Second and seven for the Panthers. Jacobs with the snap, passes it, takes a pick, and it's going to be picked off by Joseph Grimm. Flag on the play. No, it wasn't. Then tell me this is. No, you did it. No, you did it. The Bulldogs are going to be penalized once again for a false start. I'll bring up a first fifth. Red Lion 28-0, Cardinals fought over Warwick 14-7, 
Lambert Strasburg leading Penn Matter 24 12. York leading Paskey 13 7. Salanco over Conestoga Valley 6 0. Tapping on that stack, working the pass. Gets pressure, he's on the run, and he's going to be taken down behind the line. Bulldogs coming up the line. Tapping with snap, tapping the pass. He gets the line side from behind and he'll be brought down again behind the line. He'll bring up the Bulldogs fourth down. six-yard line. Tempo with the snap, looking to pass, under pressure. He's going to run with it. And will not make it first. There will be a turnover on downs, and the Panthers will have a first and ten. Panthers with a first and ten on the 33 yard line. Jacobs with the snap, hands it off, tries to run up the middle. There's a fumble. Panthers recover. Bring up a second and 12 for the Panthers. Jacobs with the snap, looking to pass, passes to his right, and it's incomplete. Good defensive play by the Bulldogs on that play. Brings up third and 12 for the Panthers on their own 31-yard line.
Third and 12 for the Panthers. Jacobs with the snap, looking to throw. Throws it deep down the left side and overthrows his wide receiver. That will bring up fourth and 12. Justice Jacobs looks downfield for Jihad Nybauer. Just a bit long. That will bring up fourth down. Orlando ready to punt. Howell back to return. Punt is up. It's caught on a 31 yard line. Howell takes it. Nicholas will regain the ball at the 34 yard line. Alexander Jacob Watt. Still has had the first intense updated sports day and it only gave me a hours. Taplin with the snap, hands it to Dancer. Dancer takes it out to the right. Pick up about three yards of the play. Dancer just landed a bit at the second and seven. Blue Ball's 37 yard line. Dancer, Dancer up the middle, still on his feet, gets taken down just short of the midfield line. And bring up another Blue Bob's first down. Tempo with the snap, hands off the dancer, dances up the middle, rushes through about another five, six yards. Bring up second five for the Bulldogs on the Panthers 46 yard line. Stopped at the line. That may be a third. And six for the blue. Last play 
of the third quarter. The Bulldogs leading 17 nothing over the Panthers. with a third and six room on the Panthers 47. Tuckman with the snap, tosses it to Dancer. Dancer runs it up the middle, takes it out to the right. One man to beat. And Dancer is going to make it to the end zone for a Bulldogs touchdown. It's about only a few seconds into the fourth quarter. Bulldogs go up 23 to nothing over the Panthers. Now go up 24 to nothing over the Panthers. With 11 minutes and 45 seconds left to play. Getting ready to kick off. Nick Hart's kick is up. And it didn't get it very far. It's caught about the around the 30 yard line. And the Panthers return will finally be called down at about 40. First and ten for the Panthers on their own 41-yard line. Snap. Jacob's pass. 
overthrown. That will bring up second and ten for the Panthers on their own 41-yard line. Panthers lined up for the second and ten play. Jacob took the snap, looking to pass, passes it to his right. It's received. That'll bring up first down. And Evan Pierce will get all the way down to the end zone to the Panthers' first score of the night, making it 24 to 6. Wilson on top. There's 11 minutes and 14 seconds left to play in the game. Up. And it's good. They'll make it 24 to 7. Wilson on top of the Panthers. Panthers ready to kick the ball. Panthers trying for the onside kick, and they faked it. Not an onside kick. Dancer will pick it up at about 7 I'm going to take it. Still up. And will finally be brought down at about the 32-yard line. to the first and ten. And Wilson almost running out of time with Black Hawk will use their first time out. Thank you. 
Kearney Central York 28-10. Central Dauphin 35, Susquehanna Township 24, Mifflin County 21, Williamsport 12. First and ten play for the thirty-three. Temple with the snap, looking the pass, passes it down, looking for Gaiman. It'll be an incomplete pass. Second attempt at the Bulldogs here. Temple with the snap, tosses it back to Dancer, and Dancer loses the ball. Smith for the Panthers will recover the ball. It will be first and ten, Panthers. First and ten for the Panthers. It's going to be a delayed game penalty on the Panthers. First and 15 of Wilson's 40 yard line for the Panthers. Jacobs with the snap hook and pass, passes it to his left. It's going to be an incomplete pass. pass was first pass to Evan Pierce, and then Evan Pierce threw it down the field and over through the wide receiver, leading up to a second and 15. Diving catch by Joe Lamell to bring up first down and 10 for the Panthers on about the 18 yard line, 19 yard line. Try to run it up the middle, but they get stopped right behind the line. Oh, make it. Thank you. 
four scores. Daniel Boone leading Owen J, 25 to three. Milton Hershey leading Millenberg, 13-0. Conrad Weiser, 56. Twin Valley, six. No change with Exeter, still leading Unionville, 38-28. Panthers with the second 12, and the Wilson's 22. Jacobs with the snap, and snap is in the ground. It will be thrown. It's going to be touchdown for the Panthers. Joe Lamel with the touchdown reception. That'll make it 24 13. Bulldogs still on top. Is that? And it's good. That'll make it 24 to 14. Bulldogs still remain on top with 9 minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the game. First and ten for the Bulldogs on their own 35 yard. Temple the snap, hands it to Dance. Dance is going to take it up the middle.
Bulldog, second and one, 34 yard line, nine minutes left in the game. Temple with the snap, hands it off. Nate Moyer takes it all the way up to the Panthers' 32 yard line. Hands off the Whitmore again to get tripped up and without the line. Oh, Dogs with the second and 11 from the 33 yard line. Templin to snap, hands it off to Whitmore again. Tries to go up the middle, it doesn't get too far. Bring up a third and eight for the Bulldogs from the 30 yard line. A little less than seven and a half minutes left. Templin with the snap, and there's going to be another penalty thrown. Team. Bulldog snap, hand off, and get stopped right there behind the back line. That'll bring up Bulldog's fourth down. Oh, it's a 
fake punt. Joe Lopez will take it. He'll get all the way down to the three yard line. Wilson fooled the Panthers on that fourth down play. Now they're set up for a first and goal. Pushes his way up, and Wilson scores the touchdown. That'll put them up 30 to 14 with five and a half minutes left to play. Up. Yeah, received it at about 22 yard line. Brought down. Brought down at around 24 yard line. First and 10 for the Panthers.
First and ten Panthers on their own 25. Jacobs looking to take the snap. Jacobs back to pass. Throws it deep. And it'll be overthrown. And it'll become second and ten. Jacobs with the snap, throws down the field, tips, and almost intercepted. We'll bring up third and ten for the Panthers. Five minutes left to play in the game. Jacobs passes it down and it's off the fingertips of Evan Pierce. I'll bring up fourth and ten for the Panthers. Delay a game penalty on the Panthers. Take that back to a fourth, fifth team on the Panthers 20 yard line. Orlando's pun is up, way up. Takes a few bounces and will go out of bounds at about 46 yard line. Bulldogs with the first and ten on the Panthers 45 yard line. Temple with the snap. Hands it off. Miller takes it. Bring out second and 12 for the Bulldogs on the 47 yard line. Bulldogs with the second and 12. Templin with the snap. Bob snap. He's going to be taken down way behind the line. He's going to bring up a 
about third and 20. Panthers took another timeout. Himself. And he's gonna get pretty far. He's gonna pick up the first. Recline picks up the first. Bring up the first and ten. Panthers 30 yard line. So three minutes and 30 seconds left to play this game. Bulldog still up 31 to 14. left in this game. Climb with the snap. Keep it himself. Runs out to the right. He'll pick up about eight yards to bring it to a third and one on the play. Third and two for Wilson on the 22 yard line. Fine, ready to snap the ball. Snap. Hands it off to. Dustin Miller will get about three, four yards on the play and we'll pick up another Bulldogs first down. A little less than two minutes left to go in the game. Bulldogs signing up for the first and ten play from Panthers 19-yard line. Climb with the snap. Hands up. And he keeps it himself. Runs out. Picks up about seven, eight yards. I'll bring up the second and four for the Bulldogs. With just a minute to play. Climb with the snap. 
hands it to Miller. Seconds left. We would also just have to run one more play. Third and eight for the Bulldogs. Said the yard. And that's going to be the end of this one. The Bulldogs beat Central Dolphin East Panthers 31 to 14. Thank you.